What's up everyone? John Renter from Techno Buffalo here and I'm super excited to unbox this guy. It is the brand the new HTC One, although officially just called the HTC One. Its older brother was my favorite phone of last year. I'm hoping that family trend continues. Let's go ahead and open this guy up and see if it lives up to the hype. So here is the box for the brand new HTC One, just called the HTC One, but it does happen to be all new. The box looks pretty similar to the last generation, but inside, I'm hoping is going to be a pretty awesome phone. The outgoing HTC One was my favorite phone of last year, and I'm hoping that this guy holds a candle to it. Um, so we've got the uh, European Unlocked Edition right here. Of course, there's a Google Play Edition and the carrier versions as well. Uh, looking around the box, you see Zoe, Boom Sound, Motion Launch, Blink feed and the duo camera, which I'm really excited to take a look at. Uh, nothing else here. We got some specs and that kind of business. But if you wanted to read the specs, you don't come and watch a YouTube video. Go ahead and pull off the box and boom! There is the brand new HTC One with its 5 inch 1080p screen. Go ahead and pull this out of here. Come here, phone. Oh, it feels nice. Push it off to the side for a really quick second. Promise that I will come right back to it. Uh, what else we're going to have inside of the box? Looks like we got some sort of case. Uh, this was sent to us courtesy of the folks at HTC. A little bit of a gel case. Uh, not their sort of dot case that you can use uh, to see things on the screen. Getting started guy. We've got a, a SIM adapter uh, and some other limited warranty stuff. We've got, uh, looks like a micro USB cable. We've got headphones. And people always say I don't show the headphones uh, in the unboxing, so I'll go ahead and do that. You can see what those look like. It's also an inline mic with a mute button uh, built into it and a couple extra uh, ear gels uh, if you've got different sizes. Uh, we also have a pretty extensive wall wart. You can tell that this one is not meant for, um, for the US. I think that's the uh, UK, if my memory serves me correctly. But that's not why we're here. We are all here for this guy, the piece de resistance, the brand new HTC One. I'll slide it out of its little house there. And it is really nice feeling in the hand. Uh, phone feels very, very solidly built. So let me run through the specs here for you. You're looking at a five inch screen. It's 1920 by 1080. So that's 1920 by 1080. If you could do math really quickly, you would know it's got a 441 PPI. Protecting this thing is Corning Gorilla Glass 3. So pretty durable screen. Only thing that could break it would be three gorillas. Um, what's going to keep this guy powered is a 2.3 gigahertz Snapdragon 800 chip, at least in the U.S. Outside the U.S., Asia, and China, uh, it's going to be clocked at 2.5 gigahertz, but it is the new Snapdragon 801 chip. Uh, augmented with two gigabytes of RAM. I uh, do have expandable storage uh, on here now, so you can expand it if you'd like with storage cards up to 128 gigs. Uh, internal, though, it's going to have either 16 or 32. On the back, this is really where a lot of the story is. Uh, you've got the duo camera right there, which is for ultra pixels. A lot has been talked about ultra pixels, and I'll put it through its paces and see how it does. Uh, but supposedly, it takes pretty awesome shots. On the front, though, is also a pretty beastly little camera right there. Uh, it's a 5 megapixel wide angle lens. Other stuff 80211, A, B, G, N, and AC at 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Um, a sealed in, non removable 2600 milliamp hour battery. Uh, we've got NFC in here as well. Available in gunmetal gray, which we clearly have, a glacial silver or amber gold. Let's take a quick look at the phone here. So there's noticeable differences. Of course, it's a bigger screen. Gone, though, are the capacitive buttons that we saw on the original HTC One, sort of the back and the home. And that HTC, as much as you want it to be, was not a button. We now have on-screen buttons uh, here on the phone as well. Boom sound speaker, supposedly about 20% louder, which is nice. Uh, covered in 90% uh, metal versus the 70%. Uh, on the outgoing model, you can see sort of the side here had a, a plastic ribbon uh, in it. So moving along the sides of the phone, um, on the right-hand side, that's where um, your micro SD card is going to live. On the left-hand side, uh, that's where your SIM card is going to be. On the bottom, 3.5 millimeter headset jack and your charging and SIM port. It does have support for a quick charging though, which is kind of cool. On the top, I'm guessing that's where that 10% plastic comes in. Uh, you've got now a plastic home button, which uh, feels a little more clicky, which is quite nice. In the back, uh, this prints a solid piece of, uh, of metal, in this case, aluminum or aluminum. The phone feels really, really nice in the hand. Uh, a little bit slippery, uh, maybe. Presumably, though, when the carrier version hits, we'll get carrier logos you know, sitting everywhere. Um, it's a little bit more rounded than we saw with the last generation. Uh, you certainly see those two there uh, side by side. Uh, it looks... You, know, you can tell it's the same family device. It definitely looks different. 
I saw all the leaks to expect it to look almost like a bigger version of last gen. It actually looks very different. Maybe it's because the color uh, is a little bit changed or that it's a little not as uh, angular, uh, but it feels really good in the hand. HTC, I think, has some of the best build quality in the industry. Uh, and this one looks to be um, continuing that trend. So of course, run through its paces. I'll give you a tour of what Sense looks like. I'll take you through the Duo camera and all kinds of other goodness here. I'm going to save turning it on. We're going to save that for an upcoming video, but a lot of awesome things to see here uh, with hopefully HTC's flagship phone. Uh, this is going to hopefully sustain the company and bring them to greatness throughout 2014. But first, got to bring them to greatness here in the Techno Buffalo Labs. So we'll put it through its full paces. Anything you want to see, of course, leave it in the comments right down below. Please give the video a thumbs up. We always appreciate it. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video. Bye-bye. What's up, everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region, or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.